Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex. And the topic for this video is, um, is tantric sex for everyone? In my experience, you have lots of different sexual approaches, right? Uh, you know, some people are into a lot into porn. Some people are going to be just very passive, just going with the spontaneity of, of what happens in the moment. Some people are going to be uh, flirting around a lot with multiple partners. Some others are going to be having sex maybe once a month or twice a month. Uh, so you have lots of lots of possibilities. The, the, the kinky, PDSM part, the polyamory, the, the swingers. In, in terms of where, when it comes to sexual expression, you have all these different possibilities. So the tantric sex space is um, is a very specific set of, of energies and uh, not everybody has the time or the energy or the willingness or the interest to dive into this, uh, these practices. In my experience I would say that um, everybody can integrate some of these hints. You know, for instance, make, being more present when you're having sex, uh, making eye contact, breathing together, all those are simple techniques that anybody can include or integrate into their lives. But when it comes to um, adding a real, uh, regular tantric sex practice into their lives, um, that's not necessarily something that uh, everybody will do. It's like, who wants to dance tango or salsa? You know, it's a fraction of the population who is interested in those specific forms and are going to practice that. The same with yoga. You know, in some, some sphere or some neighborhoods in California, almost everybody is practicing yoga, but you go back to uh, other places a bit more remote in, uh, in some, uh, you know, farm areas, uh, nobody might be practicing, practicing yoga. So, with Tantra, is a, it's a little bit the same. You know, tantric sex is a very specific lineage of energy, set of activations, practices, mindsets that not everybody wants wants to embrace, and that's very good. This is this is the, the the beauty of human diversity. You don't have to force anything on anybody because everybody is free. We all have the right for self determination, and there is a deep sense of respect there of any tradition that you might involve be involved into. If you want to be celibate and practice brahmacharya like a path of total renunciation that's that's beautiful it's your choice it's your possibility if you want to um, to uh, withdraw your your sexual energy and not invest it that's that's perfect as well if you want to have multiple partners that's your choice it's it's a good choice if it works for you and if you want just to be married with a couple of kids and and have a, a long-term relationship with um, with a partner that is going to stay uh, with you for the rest of your life and it's going to be your only sexual experience from now on it's it's perfect as well you know the, what matters is that you have the choice and you are the one making these decisions so the idea of forcing a certain tradition or encouraging everybody to practice it um, is not the way to go this these videos are are an open invitation that you can tap into if it's aligned with you if it's not for you just go and find something else it's perfectly okay with me and with uh, the, the the lineage of uh, of tantra and tantric sex um this is a you know such a core mindset and if we were practicing a little bit more that that line of respect in uh, as a human race we would be much further and much more respectful of each other's traditions so watch when you watch these videos and when you start having conversations with people be mindful of that. I want you to be respectful. I want you to, to respect other people's choices and allow them to flow with whatever is right for them. Huh? It's, um, it's an essential quality that we want to, to, uh, to really develop um, and, uh, and put it into practice on a, on a daily basis. Respect. Sometimes it might be for you, sometimes not. And uh, that's perfectly okay.